Good morning everybody. <laughs> I'm Roger Sutton, so I'm the boss at Sierra, and with me is Tim Grafton, who's the boss or the chief executive at the Insurance Council. Yep. <laughs> so what we're here to talk about today is um, um, a new strategy in terms of clearances of houses in the red zone. So we've now reached um, the milestone where we've um, cleared um, just over three and a half thousand houses from the red zone. So we've got on the flatland roughly another three and a half thousand to go. Um, up until now, the sort of the strategy on doing those clearances across the across the red zone has been a little bit scattergun. But we're now going to a new strategy of going to be doing them by geographic areas, and we're going to focus those geographic areas around um, properties that are on close to the, the borders of the green zone to make it better for people who are still living there. Um, but also clearances for areas that are um, close to major roads and thoroughfares also to make it better as well. So what we've got here is um, a sort of a cluster of properties, a group of properties, and we're, we're going to work with the insurance companies to get these down by um, within the next couple of weeks, and then we hope to get the area um, grassed um, by Christmas. So we think there's really a, ma a major sort of milestone in terms of how we do this work across the red zone. And I've talked enough, and I'll leave Tim to take up the, um, the microphones. Is that okay, Tim? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Roger. Look, insurers are very uh, keen and happy to help uh, Sarah with this program, uh, systematic clearance of priority areas across uh, the red zone. The purpose of insurance is to reinstate people, that is put them back in the position they were before uh, disaster happens. Uh, we're unable to do that in the red zone. Uh, people can't live here, you can't put them back in the position they were. Uh, so what we're very keen to do is to ensure that uh, uh, this area becomes one that's uh, not a blight on the landscape, uh, not one where vandals, arsonists uh, and others who are uh, desecrating uh, what this area once was so that we can have this place as a, a place for recreation for people of all ages and be a legacy for the future for communities. So insurers are very, very happy to help uh, with uh, uh, Sarah's program and uh, get this job done as quickly as possible. So we're doing some of the demolitions ourselves, but the majority are already being done by the insurers. So we're working here really as a coordinator to try and get all the insurers um, you know, working together in, in, in the same geographic places at the same time. So hopefully it's also going to help um, um, manage, manage the, um, the cost and the efficiency of doing the work. Um, it means we're going to have fewer sort of trucks. You know, you won't have for people still living next to the red zone, you won't have trucks week after week after week coming backwards and forwards doing work. Hopefully the guys will come in do their work and then they can move on and leave the residents in peace. But it also means I guess for people wanting to recycle bits of houses and so on it's going to make it easier for that to happen. So you know if you're an organisation that's trying to um, take whether it's you know whole bits of houses, doors or windows or insulation, if there's a whole lot of houses being demolished at the same time it makes it more easier to do that sort of recycling and so on as well. So at the moment we're working pretty effectively with um, various people who do want to recycle houses and recycle bits of houses. Um, we're working with people like Rekindle who are trying to take wood to do them for wood projects and this will make it easier for those people to, to operate. But if there are other community organisations that have got other ways they think they can be effective um, in taking away bits of houses, um, recycling bits of them, we're very, very happy to hear from them and to see what we can do to, to, make, them, to make those projects work.